video. Today's video is about safety valves, uh, vacuum breakers, drain cocks, and an element with a thermostat for geysers. Now, the um, reason why I'm doing this is because some people get these things wrong. Now, as you can see, this is a 600 kPa. As you can see there. If you can see it clearly. Yeah. Uh, it's a female. Um, this is for a 600 kPa a geezer. So please don't put it on a 400. This is a. Uh, this is the 400, if you can see it. Um, it's a male, you also get them in female, which is quite nice. But this is the 400 kPa, kilopascal. Uh, they're all from QuickCut. This is uh, the drain cock from, from QuickCut as well. And then I have this vacuum breaker from Cobra. Um, Quick cuts vacuum breakers ain't that bad, it's just if you can put it in the sun, um, they have plastic so they tend to burn or break in the sun, so the Cobra is fully brass, as you can see. Um, and then you have the element with the thermostat. Now, little thing on the safety valves is what I like about quick cuts valves are they, once you install it, you can still turn this valve to point the way you want it to. Um, it's the same on the male one, you can also turn it which way you want to point it. Um, then of course if you want to test it you just do that until it clicks and you know it's closed again but you can open this slowly until it clicks. So that's a way of testing it. Um, just turn it and then when it clicks you know it's closed again. If you don't hear the click it's not closed. Uh, Cobra also makes the, the, the safety valves for the geezer, but they only make them in 400 kilopascal. Uh, they're nice, but the only thing I don't like about the Cobra's ones is you don't have this play once it's installed. If it's installed, it's installed. You can't turn this thing at all. You can only turn it while you're threading it in. And you, can, you also can't do this on the Cobra as well. That's uh, another thing I don't like about the Cobra, but it's still good quality. The drain cock, uh, it's nothing special. You just buy a drain cock, you put it on, it doesn't matter what type of drain cock. That's what you prefer. This one's from Quick Cut. Now, what I like about these ones from Quick Cut is that you can just turn this like this, and you can click in your hose pipe from your garden hose and then you can let all the water go to your garden with some drain cocks you actually struggle getting the hose on there and stuff like that so I actually like these ones from Quick Cut uh, the element these ones are also quite uh, you also have to be careful with this uh, this was a 200, 200 litre geezer so this is a 4 kilowatt um, the thermostat, um, thermostat is just thermostat, you don't have to look for a certain one, but you have to look for the one which fits on the unit, otherwise it won't work because you get different ones which fits different elements, but this one fits on this one, so that's the only thing you have to look at when you buy thermostats, but you don't need to look at the wattage or the kilowatts. Now, the thing about quick cuts, um, elements is the blue ones are 4, four kilowatt it's 4 kilowatt uh, the orange ones are 3 kilowatt and the red ones are 2 kilowatts the 4 kilowatt is for 200 liters 3 kilowatt is for 150 and uh, three, 2 kilowatt is for 100 liter uh, thermostat they're basic um, you just set here the temperature I normally put it between 50 and 70, which is 80, which is a good amount. Because you don't want to put it on 70, because then you might risk of damaging these valves quicker and everything. And it just ends up in a big mess. Vacuum breakers. Like I said, you can use any vacuum breaker. There's no specific vacuum breaker you have to use for a geezer. 
it's more what you prefer, like I say. If the geezer is in the sun, I put the cobra ones because they're brass. Uh, if they're in the shade, I'll use quick pot because the sun doesn't get to them. But you do risk of... Um, but these, they do get damaged, they do break, so if you install a geezer in a roof, uh, just consider it that they might break one day. Uh, if they break, it is quite a big mess because they spray but hopefully they won't fail on you. Let's rather hope the geezer fails on you first before the vacuum breaker fails because um, the geezer should be in a drip tray if it's in the roof. If it's outside, it doesn't really matter because it's outside. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about a little brief thing about parts of geezers. Um, yeah, like I say, you get the, this one in male and female, and this one you only get in male, which is the 600 kilopascal you only get in female, and the 400 kilopascal you get in male and female, depending on which one you need for your geezer. So, yeah, I mean, there's quite some options. You get different brain cocks as well, different vacuum breakers, different uh, elements. You know, you get the proper ones, the normal ones, and all of that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, uh, subscribe if you want to, and ticky out.